Hi guys, welcome back to another video of another Zoic Animals. Today we will be covering the Shantanosaurus. Shantanosaurus was a genus of Sorolophian hadrosaurs. And the much more famous Parasaurolophus is also a hadrosaur. And like it, how Shantanosaurus is also. Well, I'm not sure if it's a Sorolophian hadrosaur. Probably not. And there's only one single species that has been discovered for Shandangosaurus as of right now. That being Shandangosaurus giganteus. Shandangosaurus means Shandong lizard. Well, it's named Shandong lizard due to it being found in the Shandong Peninsula of China. And... The Shantanosaurus lived in the early Cretaceous period of China. Uh, and uh, we don't know exactly when it lived, but we do speculate that it lived around the Camp Campanian period. The, and the Campanian, no, Campanian stage. And the Campanian stage was around 83 to 72 million years ago. And in China, he lived in the Xinishuang Formation. Xinis was or other dinosaurs like Suzhen Tyrannus, a very large Tyrannosaur, a kind of famous, well not that famous, but a bit famous Ceratopsian called the Sinoceratops, and a large Titanosaur. Uh, titanosaurian titanosauropod called Sujin titan during that these three animals all lived together in uh, about 73.5 million years ago so we can also we can also say shantanosaurus could have also lived during the same time period also i mean although we are not too sure once it reached full adulthood, we do like we have no predators. Even the only predator around uh, that we have discovered is Suchin Tyrannus. But even for Suchin Tyrannus, a fully grown Shantangosaurus would be a big, big challenge. I mean, in, in enough to the point where it cannot even beat it. The Shantangosaurus was the largest. Which means it was the largest hadrosaur ever. It could weigh up to 13 to 16 tons. And when it on its all four legs, it on uh, all fours, it could be uh, as tall as 3.5 meters tall. But when on, uh, on its hind legs, it could be as tall as around 6. Point, I mean, 5.7 meters tall and its length could be around 15 to 16.6 meters long and uh, the hadrosaurs like Edmontosaurus would have been the T-Rex a hard thing to kill uh, and if you know T-Rex was the strongest land carnivore to have ever lived and if the Hemantosaurus could have gave it a hard time, Shantanosaurus could have pretty obliterated the dumbbell T-Rex, making it a very strong animal and one not to be messed with. Some media depictions say otherwise, but in reality, it also says otherwise. They were the strong, they are one of the strongest animals ever. It could use its entire body as a weapon, its tail, its legs, its arms, its head, and and stuff like that. Basically, it was a it was an actual tank that wasn't a sauropod. For such a massive and gigantic and very bulky, strong animal, who would expect for it to be? Very bad at agility and very slow, very non-agile agile and stuff. 
for surprising me. It was that fast but we could reach up to 20 acres of sweets of about to we could reach sweets of about 20 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, we tear and saw the looks, looks, which is significantly smaller than the Shantang saw us. We was only, like, we would only run up to 70 miles per hour at maximum. This guy was, however, a bit faster than Shantang saw us, was a bit faster than the years. But it was not a sound type. But it has a medium agility rate. So, that's all for today's video. It's a pretty short video, but it's not the shortest. Like the Barry Onyx video, which was the shortest video, I think. Yeah, but thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.